Hey everybody, this is David again at Barnyard Bees for another video for you. Just went through and fed all the bees with our hive top feeders. And we also still have open feeding going on because there's still a touch of robin going on, even though there's a golden rod flow in full bloom. You got a lot of bees, there's not a lot of goldenrod to go around. So I want to do a little video and, and show you in comparison to some of these hives and what normal traffic looks like compared to what robin frenzy looks like. And it's not actually a robin frenzy yet, but could develop into one if the hive's not strong. So I want to show you like, for instance here, you see the bees going in pretty steady you see pollen going in always a good sign when you see pollen going in the bees are pretty content you see the guards on the outside checking the other bees out coming in you can see that one right here he's kind of hanging off the wire and every time a bee comes by he's checking them out and seeing <laughs> seeing what they are it's kind of funny he's like he's a like she's the king guard bee she's sitting there every time a bee flies up and there's more than one guard there's several of them uh you get over here now this is a strong hive and so it would be very hard for them to rob but in any case some of them still do you can see a little you'll see a lot of confusion going on around the hive you can see a little fight going on right there right there's one uh, a lot of times you'll see bees trying to get into unusual spots that's not normal that there's no entrance even though they know the bees know that their hive is, is identical to this and this is the entrance they go into when they go to another hive they don't recall that for some reason they they don't recall that hey this there's the entrance so let's go in there they don't know that you think they would because their their own hive is made up that way but a lot of times you'll see them trying to get in up under the lid and through the vent holes and different spots because they're they're confused and that's why robin screens that you make up work ones that are cone shaped and point out the bees learn that that live there they know how to to guard it they know how to get in and out where the robber bees doesn't you can see quite a bit they're trying here but this hive is very strong it'd be very hard for them to to take over i just wanted to do a little bit of comparison so people kind of see the difference of what to look for when you see robin when you come across robin uh, this is another strong hive i got the brick upright so i know it's strong and you don't see near as much here if hardly any bees are bringing in pollen and nectar and they seem pretty content so so that one looks pretty good you look over here these all look pretty normal they're coming in and out uh, right here a little bit of fuss going on now here's here's a good thing and I'll show it on another hive where we've got a little bit of light uh, we call these barnyard bees entrance reducers and I've talked about these in different videos they work excellent uh, throughout the year and what you can do with these 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 are set up and anyone can make these all it is is uh, eighth inch hardware cloth and we're cutting about two inches high and you can cut slits all the way across have about six or eight openings and then you can always open and close these openings as as you need so say if you have a robin situation going on all you got to do is simply just close that door up for a little while and uh or you can actually even reduce that one down a little bit more by pushing it even more shut to where it forces the bees into a smaller entrance going in and out so 
that come in very, very handy. And what we plan on doing, I'm going to do a separate video on this. Uh, what we'll do, we're going to put wooden entrance reducers on these behind the screen from the inside. So what we'll do, we'll cut an entrance reducer three eighths, three eighths inch high and about an inch and a half wide. You can go a little bit wider depending on the, the size of your colony. Uh, you can even do one side inch and a half and then flip that block over and I'll show you in the video more detail what I'm talking about. And what I'll do, we'll pull all these frames out and we'll slide that entrance reducer in from the inside and it'll be pushing against this wire and that'll give them uh, closed up for the winter to kind of, they'll still have ventilation. That's why you want to give them a good bit of uh, ventilation. So uh, it depending on where you are at, you know, if you go inch and a half, you can have inch and a half on one side of the block and about three inches on the other side. If you're in a cold climate, maybe use an inch and a half. If you're in a more warmer climate, maybe use the three inch to give it good ventilation. And some of these, honestly, we run them just like this. So we've run some just like this through the winter and we've run some uh, with a reducer. These, do, these seem to do fine right through the winter here in the south, at least. And we'll probably run a little bit of both just to see how they do. I want to see if we can find another hive here that's that may be robbing a little bit. These seem to be okay. They're okay here. Uh, this one here, I had closed it up. Let's open it up a little bit. Sometimes if I see it, it looks like there's starting to be robbing. I'll close them up for just a little bit. All these look good. But kind of study your bees and get to learn that pattern of what that robin looks like compared to what just normal traffic looks like. I can usually spot it from just, just at first glance. I can look and see. Like I can look right down there and see there's a slight problem right there in that hive. But it's an upright, the brick's upright. I know it's extremely strong. They're trying, but they're not gonna get anywhere with it. This one right here a little bit. The first glance, you see a lot of bees turning and twisting on the on the on the board and fighting, rolling around on each other, you know immediately they're trying to rob it. It doesn't mean they are robbing it. It's just something to be aware of. Make sure your lids are down tight. Make sure you have your a block or a brick sitting on top of your lid in case the wind blows. You can see my hose still stretch out where I was feeding the bees. Uh, a little bit right there. Just a little bit. A little, not bad, a little bit right there. Uh, not so much there. They look pretty normal. They're a little bit right there on that. There's always going to be some. Because bees test each other, and bees are opportunists. They'll they'll go after each other. They don't care. They're ruthless. They don't worry about. They'll they'll go after their own kind. They don't care, whatever it takes for them to survive. So you gotta watch out for your bees. Be careful and keep an eye on them. But you know we're in October. What is today? October fourth, I believe. It's uh, relatively warm here in North Georgia. It's supposed to get up to 80 today. Um, so the bees are extremely active. And there's just not enough goldenrod to go around for a commercial beekeeper. Uh, like I said, none of this is going to, to make honey for us. We don't do honey in this yard. This is a, that's a good thing about the yard that we do. It, it's all for, uh, bee propagation and queen rearing so it doesn't harm us here to to feed sugar water and you have to there's a lot of naturalists out there that say do it natural well you do it natural you're not gonna get very many bees i'm just telling you by experience you can argue all day with them and and i have online about doing it the natural way and but 
at the end of the day, you're only gonna have so many bees by letting them do it natural. And that's fine if you're doing it for just honey, honey purposes only, that's fine. That's just, and that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, sometimes you may have to intervene, step in and feed them as well at certain times if they're starved out. So you gotta be careful. See right here, look at this. Uh, you can see this doesn't have a brick on it. See how it's got a little bit of wobble right there. Gotta be careful with that. There goes yellow jacket in, that's twisting. Keep your bricks on it. You gotta go around and check. Look at the cracks, see if there's any cracks or crevices where the bees could get in. But that's about it for today. I wanna to put this video out and uh, a lot of people, they'll ask questions like, well, what's it look like when they're robbing? Well, just pay attention to your bees and watch, you'll see. Just like, as I showed here, you can tell. I can glance across immediately and look and see and know which ones are fighting. Uh, I can see it from a distance. You can just tell, you learn that pattern. It just, you, you do it so many times and manage so many bees, after a while you learn. See, like right here, for instance, I know these bees aren't of this colony right here. Look how they're trying to get in the, the feeder and they smell that sugar water. And people told me too, and I've heard this when we stopped doing the high top feeding for a while, they say, well, you know, put the feed up on top and, and it's not gonna be a problem or do it at night. It, it makes no difference. These bees smell that sugar water in there. They know there's sugar water in there. They don't have to see it. They know it, they can smell it. So, you know, bees have more senses than what they know. But that's about it for today. I just wanted to put that out and let people see so you'll know the difference. Because a lot of times people look and say, oh, look how busy my bees are. They look so good. And then they come by two days later and they're dead. And they're like, well, what happened? They was doing so good yesterday. Well, yesterday they was being robbed out and you didn't know it. So keep an eye on those, on that. and keep that reducer down small. Uh, that's all you can do. Make it tiny, make it hard for the, because the smaller you make that entrance, the easier it is for those guard bees to guard that entrance. And the first thing those bees will do when they rob, they will get in there and their instinct is they know, and bees are extremely intelligent. They know they take out the queen, then that leaves that hive with a, with a sense of they don't need to be here. It's just like it puts them in a limbo state. Like they, they have no reason to, to survive anymore. They, they don't know what to do. No purpose, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, and they know that it breaks their morale when they lose their queen and it, it makes them less care. So it makes it easier for those uh, robbers to come in and, and to rip out that honey. I did a split, uh, well, it wasn't a split. It was, a. Uh, mm -hmm. They had rejected the queen, which in turn, they rejected the queen, they got robbed out. I covered the hive up, it made the hive weak. A lot of bees died, so the, the, it was weak. I covered them up, moved the hive, and, and requeened them again. Well, they come in and they robbed that hive out again and killed the queen. So that happens, They, even though I moved it and Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you can't do anything about it. The best you can do is close that hive completely up and probably your best option is just to completely move that hive if it's that bad, if it's real bad. Uh, you close the entrance up and hope for the best there and if they don't work, your, your last option may be just to completely move that hive, close it up, put it somewhere and you'll lose some foragers but um, at least you'll save your hive that way. So pay attention, you know, every day, come down and look around your bees, check them out, see how they're doing. Uh, like I said, don't just look at them, see all the traffic and think they're doing great. You better check that traffic out, make sure it's normal. But that's about it for today. I wanted to put that out. We're here to help a new beekeeper. Uh, please like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Barnyard Bees Incorporated. Thanks for watching Barnyard Bees.